Hello. Today I want to show you a solution how you can patch a system initialized from a change request from Service Manager. The idea came up for this solution when I'd prepared a session for MMS 2015. And um, the solution should show a situation when an application owner needs to patch a system and needs to control the time when the system is down because it cannot be down during the normal maintenance window. So here you can see a client which has a missing patch and the application owner should now go to service manager and create a change request which initializes the automation to install this patch. So we will switch now to a My Service Manager console and we will create a change request. I have a template here which is called Patch Server. It has a logic behind to call the orchestrator runbook. So we give this a title and we need to select the, uh, the systems we want to patch. So here we uh, select the collection. I have implemented a solution which I will also mention in my blog. My blog is systemcentertips.wordpress.com and um, you will see the details of the solution also there. So I select the collection info and I also select the collection and I will take all active workstations because I have a workstation which is missing the patch and in my test environment I only have one workstation here and that's why I can select this um, collection. You can create other collections for you and um, for your environment and have servers in there or clients that's no problem. Even multiple ones that's um, multiple systems that's all um, covered by the orchestrator runbooks. <clears throat> the next step is to select the software updates we want to deploy on the agents. I switch to related items and select in the configuration items, computers, services and people the software update. So I need to select the software update category here. And enter the software update I want to implement. Let me check if that's the right one. Oh, sorry, I need to cheat a bit. <laughs> So this is the patch I want to deploy. Okay, now I have selected the patch. I even could enter multiple patches, but this client only has one patch missing. The prerequisite is that the patches are already deployed to the agent. Something which could, could be improved in the future is that we only need to select the software update group for the months, for example, but that's not implemented in Service Manager yet. That would be an addition. So I've selected what I needed. I could also enter additional comments, etc. But that's all what is required for the runbooks. So I click OK. And now a new change request has been created. And when I open this up again, I can show you the activity. Here is the activity install patches and you see it's already in progress. So the change request itself should also change to in progress. Yes. And then we can switch to orchestrator. So the main runbook, which is called by service manager, is the install patches runbook. It is mainly calling other runbooks and we have a template database in the background which writes the status in the, uh, for the for the runbook so that we can write to it read to it uh, read from it so it's more logging functionality but um, we need that 
to also have the functionality uh, to implement patches on multiple systems and have a status information there, etc. So the template database is always good to, to lock the status of the different steps. So the runbook itself really uh, checks the details of the change request, gets the information from the software update, in, reads the collection ID from service manager from system center configuration manager and um, splits the servers because in the collection we can have multiple servers and then we want to patch them all separately. And at the end, when we have written all of this information to the database, we read the information. So if this was successful, then we write the information to the change request if it was successful or failed. So I can check if that is already finished or if we can go through some of the steps. Okay, so it is already in the step split by server, but I can show you some of the other runbooks. So the first is get CR details. You can see it reads the runbook activity information, relationship, and the change request information writes this to the database. Then we read the information about the collection ID out of the uh, out of SCCM. We read the get software up uh, the software update information. That's from the change request. And then we need to split the information, so the, the collection information by server. And then we start to install the patches. So split by patch is already a sub run book. Let me open this up. There's a, a folder patching. It's this one here, so we check the um, updates which we, we have written to the database and then we check each update if that's already available in, on the system and if yes, then install the update. And that's also a sub runbook which writes the status of the different um, patches to the database and at the end we have a general status. And um, as you can could have seen in the install patches. This general status is also selected here and then we update the change request with the last run book where we read the information of the change request again and enter the information into the change request and then delete the entries from the database. So you see the run books are all finished it was relatively fast, but it was only one system and one patch. So we can check the service manager change request. It is already closed. And the client F5, the patch is installed. So that's what I wanted to show you. Um, also to show you how the process is running. And you can see the details and download the solution on my webpage on my blog that systemcentertips.wordpress.com and yeah thank you